Welcome to another Wise Maths and Science video. We've been asked to find the highest common factor of 54 and 120. Now first and foremost, what I would do, I'll think about breaking it down into the product of prime factors. Now the smallest prime number that I know is 2. So let's break this down so it becomes 2, multiplied by 27 to give you 54, and then this becomes 3, multiplied by 9, and then therefore this becomes three multiplied by three. And every time you come to a prime number, just circle it so you've got uh, three over here, three over here. And so therefore we ended up with two, you've got three over here, another three, and you've got one more three over here. Then let's see if we could do the same thing for 120. So you've got two multiplied by 60, and then you've got two multiplied by 30. Let's circle that one, multiply that by 30. Then you've got 2 multiplied by 15. And then you've got 3 multiplied by 5. You've got 3 over here. Uh, multiply that by 5. Now what we're going to do, we're going to place this into a Vendera. Let's make that look like a 5. Let's go back over there. Very good. Okay, so what we're going to do then, we're going to place that into a Venn diagram. So let's move this across over here. Now, 54, let's find out. We're trying to find that like for like term. So let's put the, all the items. What is common between them? Well, they definitely share at least one, two. So let's place that in the middle. So that's what we're really interested in. We're interested in what they really share. So we've got this share, this two, and this two over here. Then they share at least one, three. So let's underline that one and this one over here. And then therefore, what's left over, you've got a 3 and a 3 on the, for the 54 side, so let's place that over here. And then you have got, let's place this, let's do this in a different colour. Let's go back, so you've got 3 and a 3 on this side. And then for uh, the remainder, for 120, you've got 2, 2 and a 5. So let's place that over there on this side, 2, 2 and a 5. And what we're interested in, because it's the um, highest common factor, what we're actually interested in is what's in the intersection between the 54 and 120. So the highest common factor should give us um, the, the mult, uh, th we need to multiply 2 multiplied by 3 and that should give us 6. And that's your final answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.